Good morning students. Let us continue the chapter 3 fundamentals of AC. Fundamentals of AC. Last class we have seen some few definitions regarding to fundamentals. Let us recall what we have seen. As you know that this is a positive cycle, negative cycle, 0. For example, if we take it, it is a voltage V is a time factor theta or t omega t this is a phi and this area is a 2 phi and this equation is an instantaneous value the small v is equal to capital v you can take it vm max sin omega t or sin theta This is a maximum value. We can say this is a amplitude and we can say this is a up to up cycle. This is a full cycle. We can we can say this is a full cycle or we can say off cycle, off cycle, full cycle, one cycle. Then the time taken to complete one cycle is a time period. Okay. So here, last class we have seen these basic things. This is a positive maximum value. This is the negative maximum values. But the current or voltage we can represent it by these equations. If the positive wave and negative wave is equal, we can say that is the uniform. Otherwise, sometimes there are irregular waveforms are also present with the triangular square waves, stepped waves and star tooth and sinusoidal we have seen previous classes. Now this value instantaneous value some definitions we have seen already we have seen. The instantaneous what is the instantaneous value at that instant. The value of an alternating quantity at which the time you required the value of the alternating quantity at any instant of time is called the instantaneous values just like instant coffee we take in the example okay so that is given by the this equation and what is a cycle here we have seen this is the time period this is known as the one cycle one complete set of positive and negative values of an alternating quantity is known as the cycles. What are the Indian frequency? 50 F is equal to 50 cycles for second. That means if you blink your eye for one second, so this 1, 2, 3 such a way that we are going to 50 cycles completed in one second. That is a 50 hedge or 50 cycles per second. That is frequency, Indian frequency. Whereas US frequency is a 60 hedge, that means in one second it is a 60 cycles. So that is a 60 positive and 60 negative. But whereas in India 50 positive, 50 that is a one cycle we are going to the so 50, one full cycle is a one positive cycle, negative cycles. Then what is the frequency? Is the frequency is a one complete set of positive and negative values of an alternating quantity. This is the alternate quantity changing continuously based on the time. And the, what is the time period T? The T. The time period, so the time taken in seconds to complete one cycle of alternating quantity is called the time period. So here T is the time taken to complete one set of cycle. That is equal, to, we can say one by frequency 
relations okay now what is the frequency now let us see what this what is the frequency the number of cycles made for second by alternate quantity is known as the frequency the time period is the time taken in seconds to complete one cycle of an alternate quantity whereas frequency the number of cycles made for second by an alternate quantity is known as the frequency indian frequency is the 50h then amplitude this is known as the amplitude we represented it's so a positive amplitude this is the negative amplitude or we can say the peak value also the maximum value attained by an alternate quantity is called the amplitude we have seen and peak to peak values the maximum variant between the maximum positive instantaneous value and the maximum negative instantaneous value is called the peak to peak value this is a peak positive this is a peak negative this is known as a peak to peak values and angular velocity that is represented by the omega the velocity with which the radius vector rotates about the certain at the center is called the angular velocity so angular velocity already we have seen that that is a distance by time in seconds so that is the angular velocity omega is equal to so omega t we have represented omega t is equal to theta okay now the relations between this all things we have seen this all things and what is the relations now the co correlated between this one if you know the frequency i want the frequency then so well known formula is equal p n by 120 n is the speed p is the number of poles f is the frequency okay so the relation between the frequency and number of poles and the rotation and angular velocity w is equal to that is equal to, we can write it theta by t that is the the distance degrees on radians divided by time in seconds okay so we can write it at omega also we can write it that is equal to 2 f the frequency and angular velocity we can represent it then time period the time period t is equal to reciprocal of frequency okay then so what we have seen instantaneous values are voltage and current so instantaneous voltage we represented by the small letters so small v is equal to the v max okay sin theta or we can write this is a represented this equation or we can write it another way the v max sin omega t okay so based on this formula now we can write it this is also v max sin 2 phi f t so we represent a different forms okay or we can write it another way so small v is equal to small v is equal we can write v max sin 2 phi by f is equal 1 by t we can write it small t also so in different ways we can represent our sinusoidal wave this is a voltage similarly a current also we can write the i max sin omega t okay so similarly we can represent the instantaneous values and so these are the regarding to the equation diagram now at the same time we have seen so what is the average value of this one cycle if taken the full cycle average value positive value and negative value it becomes to the zero so for the calculation purpose we are going to take the only half cycle sinusoidal way the average value of in a sinusoidal varying alternating quantities we can represented that is called in by two methods one is a 
mid ordinated mid ordinated ordinated method and another method also we have seen that is the analytical method okay analytical method analytical method what is the mid ordinate method here yeah. so mid ordinate method we have seen that i average we taken the represent your marks okay that is equal i1 plus i2 plus i3 plus di dash to i n so we take that n number of current values divided by base value number of n so we are going to get the what is the average value that is the average value we are going to get in analytical method so we have seen that two forms we can see the two forms but one form is equal to, so we can write it i average is equal to the area under the curve area under the curve the wave divided by the base length base value okay so that means what is the area so what are the curve you are going to take it this is the area and base value you have to take it this is the base value okay or as a student you know the integration also we can do that integration also so i average can find by the 1 by t time period integral of so what is the time 0 to time t then i into dt we can write it this is the equation so small current component will take an integrating from 0 to total time period we are going to get the t average okay so or we can get it so in the form of so impedance uh, the admittance admittance value also okay so finally we derived this equation so i average is equal formula we have seen that what is the value to maximum value by phi value we got it derived this equation also so what is the simplification phi by 2 phi m by phi by 2 we are going to get nearly 0 0.637 i max that means the maximum value if you know that into 63 percentage you are multiplying you are going to the what is the average value of the ac quantity okay so that is the thing you remember okay so v average is equal same thing that is equal 0.637 v max okay so we have already derived and already we attended few problems also okay so what is the that value what is the definition of this value so we have seen previously that we taken the in case of the average value we taken as a charge value in case of rms value we taken as a heat okay so what is the definition of that one average value so just recollect what we have seen previous classes okay so an average value of an alternative current is expressed by that a study dc current which transfer across any circuit the same charge as is transferred by the alternative current during the same time we design. that means what we have seen so there is a charge is presented here the charge is present so applied the dc supply then the charge is transferred from this to this q quantity of the charge is transferred in time t1 time okay so average value of the alternate quantity is expressed that the study dc current which transferred across any circuit it is transferred from this place to this place the quantity is a q1 in time t1 if apply the dc supply then for the q1 for the same t1 i re if applied the ac how much amount of ac utilized for same quantity of the charge for the in same time that ac is known as the average value okay 
So last class we discussed it clearly. The average value of the alternating quantity is expressed by that the study current which transfers across any given circuit the same amount of the charge as in transferred by the alternating quantity during the same time. So this is the definition we have seen and two methods we calculated also. Next coming to the RMS value. What is the RMS value? So we have seen that RMS value root means square method. Okay. This is also we are applied the RMS method or MS method root means square method. We will take the other color. Okay. Now here also we are applied the two methods one is the mid, or, mid ordinate method similar to that one and another is the analytical method. Okay. Analytical means integration. And mid ordinate method what we have seen here that means here same similarly root we take in root and mean that is called I1 whole square plus I2 whole square plus I3 whole square plus dash 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 to In whole square. Okay. So divided by what is the mean previous cases we take the I1 plus I2 plus I3 by N in this case root mean we take in the mean square i square plus i2 i square by n under root. So, this is the we can say is the i or ms i or ms value is equal to what is the component we take in the this value component 1, component 2, component 3, component 4 we have what is the n this is the n parts. So, we calculate the root mean square values. Okay. So, in analytical method what we have seen integration okay similar to the irms is equal to integration of so we take in the 1 by t the, the time period and so so sorry we take in the root okay root 1 by t then we are going to the integration of 0 to t i square dt so this is a root minus method so, that is the RMS area squared wave by base length. Okay. So, what we previously have seen, what is the area by base? Okay. So, this is the formula. Then, what is the area 1 by t integral of 0 to t? The what is the current component? I square dt. So, this is IRMS. Now, so what is the value we are going to get it here? That is equal to 7.707 i max this is equal to irms okay so this is a formula you have to remember so last class we have seen this all things so i average is equal to 0 0.637 i max and i rms values are this one this one you remember this two. If you know the RMS value, if you know the average value, then we are going to find that form factor. So, okay, what is the form factor? Last class we have seen form factor. It is the ratio of RMS value to average value. RMS value by average value. Average value. So, we know that what is the RMS value that is equal to 0.707 okay i max if you take the max current and this is the 0.637 i max okay i max i max get cancelled so we are going to get 0 0.707 by 0 0.637 then we are going to get it so 1.11 dear students you should remember this value that's why all our ht lines 33 kv 66 kV, 132 kV, 220 kV, the multiple of 11. Okay. Now, after knowing this one, peak factor. So, peak factor. What is the peak factor? Peak factor is equal, it is the ratio of maximum value to RMS value. So, that is the maximum value. Maximum value by RMS value. 
value. So, maximum value is equal in case of the current I max and this is the RMS value is equal to 0.707 I max. So, this I max, this I max get cancelled 1 by 0.707. So, we are going to get nearly 1.414. So, here dear students, this one, this one is the approximately nearly constant values. While doing the calculations, if you are getting the form factor is 1.1, so your calculation is correct. Otherwise, you may be done some mistakes. Okay. So, these are the some basic equations we derived in the last class based on this one. So, now in this class further we are going to concentrate on the remaining part. Okay. So, let us see. Now, let us see the phase and phase difference. Phase and phase difference. Yeah. What is the phase? As we know that this is the waveform AC is raising 0, next is going to the negative and coming to this one. Okay. If you take in this is the time T and if you take in this is the weather current or voltage. Okay. So, whatever you take current or voltage. Then this is the maximum value I max. Okay. So, this is the phi, this is the 2 phi and this is the time period we taken that is the time period in seconds. And this is a t by half, t by 2, t by 4. Okay. And whereas this is equal, we are going to get it 2 by, so that is a 3 by 2 t. Okay. That is 370. Now, what is happened here? The phase of an alternating quantity at any instant is defined as fractional part of a time period or cycle through which the alternative quantity has advanced from the selected zero position of a reference. That means what is that one? The phase, the angle turned by an alternative quantity from a given instant is known as the phase. Here, a definition the angle turned by an alternating quantity. So, this is the alternating quantity, this is the 0. Okay. The angle turned, this is called 0 angle, this is a 90, this is the 180. So, time passes, the angle is changing. The angle turned by an alternating quantity from a given instant at that instant is known as a phase. Okay. So, that means here the phase or reference phases we represented with help of the this formula. For example, there is a two current rates. So, for example, I is equal to one component, I2 is a another component. So, I1 is equal to it has a I maximum 1 sin omega t, this is the one current equation and I2 is equal to I max to sin omega t, this is the second equation. That means, here amplitudes are different, you can see. So, what is the year? So, that means, here what are the amplitude here? A difference. But here the phase angle is the same, both are in phase. So, here 
i1 plus i2 are so i resultant that means both are in phase i1 is this in phase this direction and i2 also this direction so resultant we are going to get i1 plus i2 so i1 and i2 we are going to get ir resultant current both are in phase so how we are going to represent this in our alternating nature so that is represented by so you are taking this one let us take the first one so this is a diagram and you can take so i1 is going direction and this is the this one okay that is equal i1 instantaneous well i1 now i2 also same at the same time started but amplitude is changing for example this is the amplitude at the same ending and the same is going to this one that means here this amplitude this amplitudes are different but phase angle is the same you can see okay this phase angles are the same so that means i1 i2 are in phase values both are in phase that's why an angle turned by an alternating quantity from a given instant is known as a phase okay don't confuse so we'll see later also then coming to the phase difference this is a definition okay so now we have seen this is what is phase okay now phase difference the phase difference is equal to difference here two phases are a difference values it is the angular displacement between the two alternating quantities so here two alternating quantities displaced by some angle so that is another phase differences so or we can say the the phase difference between the two alternate quantities in the fractional part of a period through which the time of an one alternate quantity has advanced over the another alternate quantity so there is a race between the two waves first wave and second wave the race between the two waves what is the uh, relative distance between the two that is the phase differences it is a angular displacement between the two alternate quantities or we can say the phase difference of two quantities to be measured okay if the frequency of the two quantities is same so that we can see for you can take the one example what is the phase difference for example you can take one same vector there is a three friends here is a vector one friend you can see this is equal to you can take so another color blue color okay so we can take the this is a one friend this is a one friend okay so is normal at starting at zero time it is started so as is well the t and we can take the this is equal for example take the current this time is take the current i so this equation i can write it what is the maximum value i can represent it this is equal to, so i can write the, what is the uh, instantaneous that value i can write it so that is equal to small i 1 is equal to capital i maximum value sin that is equal to omega t plus zero i can represent it this first equation now i can represent another way. let us see this one color now what is happen uh, i2 current so i2 current what will happen after zero after some angle that is a starting here so it is a raising slowly and going this direction that means it is nothing but it is going to this direction it is a continuous process 
it started a year after some time so we can take that is the some angle this is the angle between this and this is equal you can take the that is a theta 1 after theta 1 the i2 current started so we can write it instantaneous equation i2 is equal to i m 2 sin omega t minus of the theta 1 we can write to present it okay this is a we can represent this one minus this value theta 1 okay now take the another fellow hmm. green we can take it green now we can take the yellow color now and another person the another wave he started at early only okay so he started at early year only so this theta one we can start it there okay so then he started this this period so slowly he started okay now it's going this one that means here the difference this is equal to this is equal to theta 2 you can represent theta 2 this is a theta 2 okay now what is happened here three friends are present so what is the equation here i 3 is equal to i m maximum value 3 sin what is the value omega t plus theta 2 i can represent is advanced is a lagged so here three friends okay three waves and middle is a normal and red color is a lagged by the some angle and here it is advanced this one okay so three are at three different places okay so here what is happened the face angle so face angle is an angle between the zero points of two alternating quantities is called the phase angle or we can say the phi so what is that here two so this is the one this is the one so that is the angle between the zero points of two alternating quantities this alternate quantity alternate quantity so here difference started we get the phase angle now what is happened here a leading so yellow color is a leading leading alternate quantity so a leading alternate quantity or uh, whether it is a voltage or current is one which attains the maximum or zero value the zero value or maximum value okay maximum value earlier as compared to the other quantity i am comparing the the blue value that is i1 so here what is happen it is a leading it is a early bird a leading alternating quantity is one which attains the its maximum value earlier as compared to the this value so we consider this i3 is a leading alternating quantity whereas the red color there is a lagging a lagging alternating quantity is one which attains the maximum or zero value later than the other quantity so later slowly it is relaxed it is raising but whereas the yellow is advanced at four o'clock is raised blue color the yellow color whereas six o'clock blue color and whereas at eight o'clock this is a red color okay so early raising that means so at six o'clock blue is a starting at six o'clock before six o'clock that is at four o'clock it is advanced i3 but whereas uh, this i2 is a lazy fellow is a raising at eight o'clock so that's why so this is known as a lagging this is as a leading this is a normal okay so please remember the students we can represent it, this one so this vectors represented simply by the vectors also here how we are going to represent so you can see here 
So here what will happen? I1 at normal position at 6 o'clock rising that and our brother second brother that is called I2 is a by some lagged by some angle. What is the angle? So this much angle that is the theta 1. Okay, but it is 8 o'clock. Whereas uh, this person is a leaded by this person. So this person is a theta 2. This is a I3. Okay, so this is a theta 2, this is a theta 1. Now this is a theta angle is a 0. So this is a I1, this is a I2, this is a I3. Now in this case, the alternate quantity I2 is a lagged with respect to the I1 and I3 is a leaded with respect to the I1. Okay. So, a plus sign in connection with a phase and phase difference is the indication of leading power factor, whereas a sign indicates the lagging power factor. The phase difference between the two alternative waves of the same frequency at various intervals of the time remains constant. So, at it becomes to the same 0, it becomes to the same maximum values. When the phase difference between the two alternating current quantities 90 degrees, then how it will? So, we can see that one. Okay. For example, you take the this is diagram. Now, I can take the so this is a one brother is at 6 o'clock is raised at normal time. Whereas, so this is a 90 maximum, this is a 5 by 2, this is a 5 by 2, this is a 5, this is a 2 5. Okay? So, at 6 o'clock is raised. For example, take it this is a curve A. A. Whereas, uh, I want to compare the when two phase differences between the two alternate quantities 90 degrees. So, this is a 90 degrees. At that condition, my another brother is arising. So, he will raise so from this one to this one and this one. Okay? That means, if you are extended, you are going to this one. So, this much of angle is a nearly 90 degrees, this much, 90 degrees phase displacement. Okay. After 90 degrees in anticlockwise, it is raising slowly. So, it is a 90 is a maximum after 90 is going to get the maximum values. Okay. So, this is a representation of if the two phase differences between the two alternate quantities 90 degrees. So, we can take that this is a B, this is a A. Now, the B is a lagged by the 90 degrees. For example, if you want the angle between the a and B, both brothers are 180 degrees. Then how we are going to write? So we can write simply. So we can write it. This is equal to same. Now same brother A, this one. Okay. Now brother B, 180 degrees opposite to the A. That is a villain. Now you can see that person. So same at zero is started and at zero. So we will go this direction this one, but is a maximum, this is a minimum, 0, 0. This is a, what is the phase displacement? That is equal to 180 degrees. Okay? So, here what is happen? So, one phase is equal I1 this direction and I2 this direction. So, what is the phase angle between these two? 180 degrees, two phases. So, his phase is a, this direction, this direction. His face is a this direction. Okay, so 180 degrees phase displacement with two persons. Okay, so this is the indication. Okay, so these are the different type of the waves, dear students. We can represent it. Okay, now so based on this one, we are going to do the one small example for getting the idea. Okay, so what is the let us we can see. Mm, we can take it this one. Here is one. Find the phase difference between the 
respect to vector voltage and current is given. Here is the example is given. What is, is given? So, where voltage is equal to uh, one equation is given 200 okay, sin 3 1 4 t minus 5 by 3. This is the voltage equation, brother voltage and sister I current is equal is given instantaneous value is 50 okay, sin 3 1 4 t is given that is called plus you can take the plus 0 you can take this one also. Okay. Here what is the brother V voltage sister current I. Now, is asking find phase difference between brother and sister. Okay. So, draw the diagram. Then here what is happened? Sister is the at 0 at 6 o'clock, but brother is a 5 by 5 by 3 that is equal. So, 5 is equal to 180 by 3 means 3 nearly 60 degrees. So, that means here the brother who is uh, arising from the bed after 60 degrees. So, we can write it this equation, the diagram, we can write it the diagram. So, here the sister at 0 angle, okay, that is the, what is the magnitude? The 50. So, here magnitude is a 50 okay? and time factor is a 314, it is a going this one. Okay? This is the current I max and whereas a, our brother is this one, this one 5 by 60. So, it started after 60 degrees, now is raising. So, magnitude is a here you can say 200, maximum is a 200. So, it will raise. 200 raise up to 200 goes this value to this value okay so that means you are going to lag by the this one this is a, what is the value that value is equal to 200 voltage okay what is the phase difference between these two fellows what is the phase difference here 60 degrees Okay, then we can write it the theta is equal to the phase displacement between this is equal to 60 degrees or we can say the minus 60 also is compared to the brother. Okay, so, this is the one example of this thing. Okay, let us do the phase, phasor and vector algebra, how we are represented these things. Now, the phasor and vector algebra. Then, so, how we are going to represent the phasor? Okay. So, now phasor is represented by, let us take one example block you take it. So, this is a x axis, this is a y axis represented by 0. Okay. So, this is the normal graph y axis and x axis, y axis always vertical and this x axis is a, this is a positive x, this is a positive y and negative y and positive x, you know that thing. Similarly, I can represent my the vectors in terms of the real part and the imaginary part. In my circuits, I represented this part is known as a real part, real axis. Whereas, this part, vertical part, I represented as a imaginary part, imaginary part or we can say the imaginary axis. 
this is a imaginary axis, this is a real axis. Such a way that I can represent any vector on my real axis and imaginary axis. For example, you take it this one here, some you take the voltage value V is equal to A plus J of B. J is the notation. Okay. Now, we know that always all vectors are counterclockwise direction only. Now, I can represent it here represented. So, this is the represented here. This is the x, this is the y, okay, this is the 0. Now, whatever the value is given here that is represented on a given scale. Now, this V is written as a A, this V is a real axis, a represented magnitude here. So, I can write the one vector that value is equal V. So, this horizontal vector is nothing but A length up to this length. Now, this a vertical length that is equal to this length, we can represent it as a B. So, this is a A, this is a B. A square plus B square is equal to B square as per Pythagoras. There is a 90 degrees displacement between the A and B. So, that is represented in equation by J notation. Okay. So, this form is known as a complex number or we can say complex quantity. In complex number, real part and imaginary part is a differentiate with the help of the J notation. What is the J here? So, J is nothing but we can write it J. So, J is equal to we can write it. So, that is equal to root of minus 1. J is equal to root of minus 1. Now, I want the J square. Then I can represent it. So, root of minus 1 whole square. That I am going to get it minus 1. Okay. Suppose I want the J cube. Then I can write it J square into J. What is the J square? Minus 1 into j then i am going to put the minus j similarly j4 i can the j square into j square that is equal minus 1 into minus 1 we are going to get the plus 1 so such a way that we can use the j notations okay in complex number a real part and imaginary part is easily identified by identified by j notation. What is the j? j is equal to root of minus 1. Now, based on this one, that indicates the real part and imaginary part always 90 degrees. So, here, so represented here, represented by the this angle. Okay? So, that is the represented v here, we are going to the vectors this direction. Always counter clockwise direction we are representing. Okay. Now, what is the equation here? So, that is equal to resultant V. So, V is equal to A real part plus J of imaginary part. A and B is a 90 degrees phase displacement here. Now, what is the magnitude of V value? Then we represent it by so, this whole square plus this whole square under root Pythagoras. So, A square plus B square under root, we are going to get the magnitude of the voltage. Suppose I want the angle. So, what is the angle? I want the theta or we can say the, that is equal theta angle. So, we represent theta angle is equal tan theta, we take it 
tan theta is equal opposite ok. Then we can represent it as a b by a ok. So, that means, so I want the theta only theta is equal tan inverse of b by a such a way that I can find any given this complex quantity its magnitude and its phase angle ok. At the same time I can represent in my vector also ok. This is the beauty of the phasor uh, algebra the vector algebra. Okay. The phasors can be represented by the famous methods or four methods. Okay. What are those methods? Let us see. Okay. The phasors can be represented, the phasors, okay. phasors can be represented four method. What is the, that one? represented 1 that method is the you can write it one is the rectangular method rectangular method second one is the trigonometrical trigonometrical method and third one is the polar method polar polar form you can see the polar form or polar method and last one is the exponential exponential method okay exponential form rectangular form trigon the trigonometrical form and polar form this form so so, the faces can be represented in the four forms based on our convenient we can simplify the given equations in our convenient way. So, what are the examples let us see let us one by one we will see what is the rectangular form ok let us see. Now, rectangular form. ok. So, what is the rectangular form here now rectangular form you can see the example. For example, here you can take the V is given voltage is equal to real pot plus J of B what is given. Now, I represent on the phasor diagram. So, I can take this one Okay, then what is this value? So, this is equal to V I can take or you can take this one ok. You can take this one ok. So, this is the x axis, this is the y axis ok. So, this is a we can take this a positive j this is equal negative j ok. Now, what is the a value real part we take it we take the real part a. So, what is the magnitude of a we take the this again. Now, this is j that means 90 degrees this one what is the magnitude b that is represented by p this is called b ok. Now, a plus b join the line this is equal v. So, this v vector represented in real axis represented in imaginary axis. So, if it is tilted in x axis x component then we are going to get the real component that is equal to a and if it 
filter in the vertical axis that we are going to get the imaginary component. Then what is the angle? Angle is represented by the theta between this reference and V such a way that we can represent given vector on a phasor diagram. So, suppose if given the different values, suppose one phasor diagram is given such a way that then you can see it one. Dear students, you have to practice it. If you are practicing, you are going to get the command on this one. So, this is the one quadrant is given. So, this is the x value and this is the y value, you know the minus y and minus x. Okay. Here is a vectors is given such a way that what is the vector is given? For example, here one color vector is given here. So, what is the vector? Here vector is given this direction this vector is given and second that is equal v1 is given and here another vector is given that is equal in second quadrant you are going to get that this is another vector this is called v2 and another vector is given here and third coordinate this is equal to v3 and fourth coordinate is given another color you can take this is the another color we can take this is equal this one that is equal v4 is given v1 v2 v1 is the first coordinate v2 is the second coordinate v3 is the third coordinate and fourth v4 is the fourth coordinate I want to represent this all values in terms of A and B, real part and imaginary part. Okay. So, simply you can, so here what is happened? Let us come to the V1. So, V1 if mode component in X component, you are going to this one. Then I am going to get it that value is equal to nearly A1. And if mode in vertical component this is equal then I am going to get this V1. Uh, so, here what is happened? So, V1 is equal to A1 plus J of B1 in first quadrant because the real component is a positive x axis and imaginary component is a positive y axis. So, that is why I return this my component complex form. Okay. Coming to the ear, what is happen? So, this vector is revolved to the x axis. So, this is a minus x axis. So, what is the value? I can write it that is equal to A2. This is a positive that is B2. What is the angle? I, angle is represented by theta 2. Okay. So, what is the ear theta? So, we are going to the theta is equal this angle, this is the theta 1. Okay. Theta 1 is equal to tan inverse of B1 by A1. Okay. Theta 1 is equal to tan inverse of okay. tan inverse of so opposite B1 by A1. So, we know the equation, we know this angle also. Similarly, so here I am going to write it. So, here I am going to write it what is the V2. So, V2 I can write it in the form of So, V2 is equal to, I can write it, that is equal, here what is the, this component minus A2 plus J of B2. So, this is a represented vector, okay, this is a minus x axis. Similarly, I can write it, this V3 also. So, what is the V3 here? So, I can write it V3. So, V3 is equal, I can write it, V3 is equal, I can write it in X component and in Y component. Okay. I can write it, what is the X component, I can go into, this is a represented by the minus X and minus Y. So, both are minus values. That is equal, this is equal to 
a3 this is equal b3 both are minus values then i can write it minus a3 minus of j b3 so both are negative values okay now coming to the and v4 so v4 i can write it here v4 v4 is equal to, i can write it this one this is equal to, i can going to get it the positive direction that is equal a4 positive and this direction is equal to minus b4 so i can represent it as a a4 minus j of b4 okay so these are the given vector i can write the complex quantity okay if complex quantity is given i can represent the vectors on a graph okay it's so very easy so always remember that what is the real part what is the imaginary part so finally we are going to conclude that what is that one in general the formula for the rectangular form general rectangular form rectangular form is equal to we can write it so v n v1 v2 v3 v4 v1 well is equal to we can get it plus or minus a n plus or minus b j into b n okay and this is a rectangular form so whether it is a minus or plus based on the quadrant whether it is a first quadrant second quadrant third quadrant fourth quadrant okay this quadrant dictates the equation values where n is equal to 1 2 3 dash dash value any value so v1 is equal we are going to get the same this values okay so this is a one form of rectang rectangular form similarly i can represent same value in trigonometrical form okay so what is a trigonometrical form what is the term so okay um trigonometrical form so we can represent this one so another form is the trigonometrical form so trigonometry means we are going to face cos and sin tan okay so it is in the form of cos and sin here in this case so here the basic formula is equal v is equal to v into it can be represented by cos theta plus j of sin theta so this is a basic equation in trigonometrical form what are the value is given the magnitude is the angle it converted okay so we are going to convert that thing for example you can take any value suppose here how we are going to represent in this diagram same thing so we can take so black color same it take the this one okay so this is equal to v v and v is uh, here we are going to take the vertical axis the vertical axis represented by v sin theta okay represented and horizontal axis is represented by v cos theta that is the only difference where theta is equal to this one okay so this is a x axis this is a y axis so whatever this value represented in the vector form 
okay v is equal to v into cos theta plus j into sin theta v cos theta in real part and j that is the 90 degrees here and this is the imaginary part is a vertical part v into sin theta so that is represented in trigonometrical format okay so if another uh, if you if you want to see the in second coordinate and third coordinate and fourth coordinate similar to the we can write it the any diagram so similar to here we represented similar to this way okay so how you are going to write it in that one so that is equal to in first case whatever the all are positive so v1 i can write it in form so here both are positive directions then i can write it the so v is equal to whatever the v1 v1 maximum value into cos we take in the cos theta 1 plus j of sin theta 1 okay sin theta 1 so what is the theta 1 here i represented this at theta 1 this is we represented the the v cos v1 cos theta this is a v1 sin theta suppose i want to show this in the form of that v2 so in rectangular form i can represent it this is equal to v2 is equal to, i can write it that is equal here a2 is a minus value we are going to get it so v2 into so minus cos theta 2 okay so and where does the vertical component is the positive positive direction then we are going to plus g of sin theta 2 so this is a rectangular form this is a trigonometrical form okay so now coming to the here so v3 we are going to get it why v3 is equal to i am going to get what is the v3 so v3 into here all are negative values minus cos theta 3 minus g of sin theta 3 okay and coming to the here what will happen real axis is a positive and imaginary axis is a minus y axis so then i am going to write it so this form so v4 is equal to v4 into cos theta 4 minus g of sin theta 4 so this is a trigonometrical form dear students similarly you can represent all values remaining the polar form exponential form any coordinate coordinate if it presents any coordinate we can represent with that such way that so what is the general representation here general presentation we represented so in the form of this one okay similarly i want to represent this is also in the form of general the trigonometrical form vn is equal to vn into plus or minus cos theta n okay so that is plus or minus here also j and sin theta n this is a general form of trigonometrical form okay so i think you are clear and coming to the another form so what is the remaining form what is that one so remaining other remaining form is that is the polar form let us see what is the polar form dear students don't confuse this is a rectangular form where is the rectangle? This is the rectangular form we have seen first one and rectangular is given equation we represented in similar way and if this vectors complex value is given in the first coordinate okay and second coordinate and third coordinate and fourth coordinate how is represented we represented based on the representation we return the equations also similarly in second case another form of representation by so second is the trigonometrical form in trigonometrical form also we taken the cos and sin theta in the picture so we represented here and same we have drawn first coordinate second coordinate third coordinate fourth coordinate and its equations and the general equation is this much now another form is the 
third one is the what is the third one? The polar farm. Polar farm. So, dear students, these are the basics. You have to remember all methods. If you know these methods, you can enjoy the next uh, problems. Okay? These are basics for all electrical engineering. Now, let us see the what is a polar farm. The polar farm is represented by simple vectors. How? You can see one. Take the this vector. You take it, this is one. At here, this is a magnitude. We can represent it that is equal V is equal to V at angle of theta. That means this is a magnitude and this is a angle. Okay. So, what is the magnitude? What is the angle? Now, for example, this is a x axis, this is a y axis positive value. Now, so what is the angle theta? From the theta, now what is the voltage? Voltage is this much. What is the magnitude up to this one? This one. So, this is the V voltage, this is the angle theta. So, it represented in polar form, simple. Okay. So, that is equal V. V is the magnitude at angle represented in polar form, easy method. Okay. So, what are the values represented based on the angle? Okay. So, here the V is a magnitude, theta is a measured, the counter always counterclockwise direction, here this direction only. Okay. So, for example, if you are taking that, so another form, if you take uh, this direction, take another color, if you draw the this one, here this one, this one, then what is the value? So, we can represent this value is equal with the positive V that is equal, this we can represent the minus V. <coughs> okay? So, the minus V represented by minus V is equal to minus V at angle of theta. Now, what is the phase angle between these two? That is equal 180 degrees 5. So, we can represent it that with the help of minus V is equal to so, V at angle of, so that is equal theta plus phi, theta plus phi if you are going to the this direction. Okay, if you direction this direction and clockwise, clockwise direction, you can take the minus phi. Okay? So, such a way that we represented this vector in the polar form. Okay? So, polar form is nothing but it is a we represent in a simple way v into and magnitude and theta where v indicates the magnitude only and theta is always measured in counter clockwise direction from the positive real axis okay that is the x axis a negative sign has the effect shown in the figure also okay so what is the negative sign this is a negative that means the 180 degrees okay it is a very famous polar method is a very essential for the students. Okay. Let us to see the another uh, vector. Similar to the we can write the first coordinate, second coordinate, third coordinate dear students. Just to practice it. Okay. Now, so last method is the exponential method, fourth method. Okay. So, these are the all theory part. So, if you have enjoyed this one with help of the problems, if you do the problems, you are going to enjoy it. Okay, last method is the exponential method. Exponential method or exponential form, you can write it. What is the exponential form? So, e to the power of that we are going to represent exponential form. So, as we know that, so Eliot's law, the scientist Eliot equation. So, what it says that, so e that is equal e to the exponential form of plus or minus, okay, 
that is equal j theta is represented is equal to cos theta plus or minus j sin theta. So, this is the Euler's equation exponential form. It is a exponential form, we can write it in this way. Okay. As the format for the exponential form, we can write it. So, another way also, what is that one? V n, what is the n is called 1, 2, 3, 4, we can write it. So, V n e to the power of plus or minus j into theta four of n. This is a common representation of exponential form. Okay. So, for example, I want the V1, I want the V1 is equal wherever the n, you represent the 1. So, V1 is equal 1 e to the power of, if you take the plus j of theta 1. Okay. For example, you require the fourth coordinate. So, fourth coordinate we are going to write it. So, V4 is equal to V4 e to the power of, so j notation, we are going to minus j theta 4. Okay. So, that is a minus y axis direction, such as that we represent it. So, dear students, these are the, the faces can be represented by four forms. One is a rectangular form, trigonometrical form, polar form and exponential form. Okay. So, these are the basic things. Now, you can enjoy this by doing the some numerical problems. Let us do that numerical problems also. So, addition and subtraction of numerical problems. Okay. So, what is the addition and subtraction? Let us do simple problems, you can enjoy it. Addition of alternative quantity. Alternating quantity. If you know the addition, simply you are going to write the minus that is a subtraction. Okay. So, let us do the first. Consider two polar quantities. Okay. Rectangular form is the best suited for addition subtraction of phasers quantities. So, you have to use the better addition purpose, rectangular is the better. Rectangular the form is a best suited for addition and subtraction. What is the rectangular form that is equal to, what is the rectangular form? What is the value? So, we can write it anything. So, in, in the form of real part and imaginary part. Let us see what V1 is equal to A1 plus J of B1. This is a rectangular form. Now, for example, V2 is given, V2 is equal to so, A2 minus J of B2 is given. This is a one vector and this is a another vector is given. I want to add it V1 plus V2. Okay. So, how you are going to do that one? So, I can do it simply. So, I want the V1 plus V2. So, dear students, simple add it. Real part is a real part and imaginary part imaginary. Yeah, two friends. So, dear students, so whatever the V is equal to here uh, A plus J of B. So, here the, the family members consist of here you can say represented these are the boys plus here are the girls just represent assume it. The family how many boys this is the boy, this is the girl. So, girl represented by this hair. Okay? So, that is represented by the J here, just remember it. Now, this one family, V is equal to this family. So, here what is happened? Here V1 family is given, V2 family is given. V1 family, A1 boys and B1 girls. V2 family, uh, a2 boys and B2 girls. Simply, what is the total family members? I want to know it. How many boys? How many girls? Add it now. Okay. So, such a that you can add it. 
what is the value v1 is equal to so i given the v1 what is the value v1 is equal to a1 plus j b1 is given simply addition so what are the v you represent plus next what is the v2 v2 is given as a a2 minus j of b2 whatever the equation is given simply add it now remove the brackets a1 plus j b1 plus a2 minus j b2 now a1 a2 are the boys what are the boys you come the group it boys first so here a1 plus a2 so boys batch here so girls batch b1 here b2 so better to take it plus j is a constant girls indication that that is a, you can say the ribbon okay there is a bite there is a ribbon or you can say the flower indication so j now you take it j and here is a b1 minus b2 that means this is the boys batch this is a girls batch for game okay so now what is the value that is equal to v1 plus v resultant v resultant we are going to get it so real part and imaginary part so this is a boys batch this is a girls batch addition of two vectors okay so similarly you can do the subtraction also how we are going to subtract the family 1 minus family v2 we are going to do it so what is the v1 v1 is equal a1 plus j of b1 is given minus next what is the v2 v2 is given a2 minus j of b2 what are the values given taken simply so add it here i1 plus j of b1 here minus minus a2 minus into minus plus you can take it you take care of that thing so here b2 j b2 you can write it j amai goals okay now what is the boys what are the boys a1 minus a2 these boys minus these boys okay now j you can take the plus j goals by so b1 plus b2 so this is a resultant of this subtraction okay so addition and subtraction is a very comfortable in rectangular form okay so multiplication and division we will see okay so let us see that is also <coughs> now so here what is the magnitude how we are going to calculate the magnitude so here in this case so magnitude i want the so here v1 minus v2 is equal to that is called a1 minus a2 plus j of b1 plus b2 okay so such a with that you can represent you can represent this is a represented by the for example v r this present this is equal a1 this is a value so you represent here take this value and so this value represented as a a1 minus a2 okay now this represented as a b1 plus b2 so this is j now join this two line then we are going to get is a vr result and subtraction of this value what is the angle the theta so i want the magnitude what is the magnitude of this value so this whole square plus this whole square under root i am going to get the magnitude angle so tan theta is equal to b1 b2 by a1 minus a2 similarly pre similarly previous values okay what is the magnitude i want the so a1 minus a2 okay plus j of b1 plus b2 this is a represented in my vector diagram for my convenience now i want the magnitude is required v or resultant of subtraction value is equal to. similarly so that is equal 
a1 minus a2 whole square plus and b1 plus b2 whole square under root. Okay. So, this is a magnitude. What is the angle? Angle is equal to theta. Theta is equal to so tan inverse of okay, tan inverse of what is the opposite here? You are going to this value. Okay. So, that is equal to so b1 plus b2 divided by a1 minus a2 such a way that we can calculate it is a magnitude as well as the angle after addition or subtraction whenever we require it. Okay. So, very simple dear students just you practice it. Okay. After this one we will go to the multiplication. So, addition and the subtraction is the very easy. Let us see the uh, multiplication and division in phases. Okay. So, what is the time? Okay, no problem, we will do it. And I think so we will do this in the next class. So, continuation we will see there. Okay. Dear students, please follow this one. Okay. So, I will now I will break it here and we will start one.